Hi guys, welcome to session five, another week in lockdown. So I'm here, Nolan, going to talk you through today's session. There's quite a little bit in this session that we're going to do in pairs. So if you can get one of your parents to help you, they don't have to help you for the full session, but maybe just a certain bit. So we're going to do a, a judo hold down and the uchi kami again. And also one of the games that we're going to play, you're going to need somebody there to help you as well. Okay, so we'll start off with our bow. So arms by your sides and right and jogging on the spot. I knees. Heels up behind you. Jogging on the spot. Stars. Jogging on the spot. And sprinting. Hajime. Stars. Faster. Faster. And mate. Head circles. Other way. Arm circles. Change direction. Across like this. Now imagine you're holding a judo jacket. Grip and pull. Strong pulls towards you. Both hands. Strong pulls. Now grip and push. Push away. So like pushing the person away. Arms out, fingers like this. Arms to the side, same again. Hip circles. Change direction. Stand with your feet apart. Stretch up as high as you can. And then stretch down to the floor. Again, stretch up as high as you can. And stretch down to the floor. Stand up, feet together. Don't bend your knees. Try and touch your toes, stretch down. Stand up, give your legs a shake, arms, body. Okay, so for this first game, there's two things you need. You need somebody to help you. So if you're doing it with your brother or sister or, or, your, or any family member, they can help you or your parents can help you with this one. And you also need a soft ball. So Nolan, do you want to get the soft ball? So the, the aim of the game, this is what, what, a game that Nolan wanted to play. So he wanted to play dodgeball. So we're trying to figure out a safe way to do it. So I would, if you can, I would pause it for maybe a second. Remove any of the maybe ornaments or anything that's breakable out of the room. Then your parents are going to hold the ball. Hopefully it'll be a soft ball and not a hard ball. So we've got a soft rugby ball here. And... All they're going to do is try and hit you with the ball. If the ball touches you, you have to pick one side of the room. You're going to run to that side of the room. So Nolan's going to pick this side here. And he's going to do three star jumps. That's it. Proper star jumps. Touching the floor each time. And then I'm going to try and throw the ball again. Okay. So we'll have maybe three or four rounds of this. Try your very best to... Avoid being hit by the ball, okay? So dodging, using your judo footwork to move out the way. So we might go off camera a little bit to play this game, but hopefully you'll be enjoying the game as well and you'll, you won't need to look at the TV whilst we're playing, okay? So are you ready? When I shout, Hajimi, you've got to try and get them with the ball as many times as you can. Hajimi! 
Keep moving. Don't let that ball touch you. Ah, oh, got Nolan. So, three star jumps over there, Nolan. Quick run. One, two, three, and... Hajime! Ah, right, got him again. Three star jumps, quickly. One, two, three. Hajime! Got it. Quick, move it, move it, quick. Quick, keep going. Come on. Ah, got him. Three star jumps. One, two, three. Hajime! Got him again, straight away. Two, three. Quick, dodge, go, go, go. Oh, he touched it. Go, 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 go. Dodge, dodge, dodge. And... Mate. Got him. Well done, guys. Three good star jumps. Okay. Get yourself a quick... Get yourself a quick drink. Vimto. Nolan's Vimto. Drink of choice today. After this, we're going to do our break fall. So once you've had a drink, can you get your cushions? Because we're going to do some backwards break falls, some forwards break falls, and then we're going to spend some time on doing some rolling break falls today. So maybe you don't need a cushion for doing the rolling break falls, but you certainly could do with them for the backwards and the forwards break falls. Okay, so. I've got it. Set your cushions up so you've got enough space. Oh, yeah. We'll start off with 10 mat slaps. Then we'll do five backwards break falls and five forwards break falls. So lie really flat on your back on the cushions. Cross your arms on your chest. No one just move down here, please. Cross your arms on your chest. So I'm going to count to ten. We'll do ten mat slaps as loud as you can. I'll go this side so we this can see. Is easy. So guys, remember, palm of your hand hits the mat. Keep your arms close together and you want to use as much of your arm as possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now standing up backwards break fall. So stand here, Nolan, at this side. Guys, you stand at one side of the of the cushions, cross your arms on your chest and chin glued down to your chest. So when I shout Hajimi, we're gonna fall backwards, keeping your hands crossed on your chest and your chin tucked down, okay? okay. Are you ready, Nolan? Cross your arms, okay. chin down. Hajimi! 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 Two more. Hachibi. And last one. Hachibi. Excellent. Front break falls. I kind of did it so they could see the action. Front break fall. This time face the cushions. Hands out. Be brave. If you can jump into it, jump into it. So the idea is do not let your nose touch the cushions. Like two options. Or exactly right. So we can either jump into it or we can fall into it. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Are you ready? How'd you be? One. How'd you be? Two. I kind of like to keep my knees at first, try not to do that. How'd you be? Three. Daddy, it said the battery's 15. Hajime. Four. One more. Which is going to be this. Hajime. Okay, excellent. So now we're going to do some rolling break falls. I want you to do these on the cushion if you can to start off yeah. with and then we'll try um, on the carpet so forward rolling break fall I'm going to squat down into this position to start off with 
The idea is not to go straight over your head, but to go over your shoulder. As you go onto your shoulder, right. you're going to push yourself as far over as you can without letting your head touch right. the cushions. So you've got to keep your chin on your chest, the same as the backwards break fall. You can use this hand to help you to start off with, but after that, maybe take that hand out of the way and just be brave oh, and go straight forward. I can do okay? it. Okay, Nolan, can you come and stand here whilst I demonstrate? So, knee touches the mat first, then it's the shoulder. Nolan, just stand there so I can demonstrate. Then it's the shoulder and push with this hand, roll right over and hit the mat straight out. Okay. So again, we'll do five of those to my count. Are we ready? How do you mean? One. How do you mean? Two. Good. Not letting your head touch the cushions at all. How do you mean? Three. It's hard to not let your head touch the cushions. How do you mean? Four and one more. How do you mean? Excellent. Matty, get yourself a quick drink. For this next one, you need somebody to help you out. So you need your parents or your partner to help you out. And if you've got your judo jacket, get your judo jacket on. Or if your parents are helping you, dressing gown is fine. Just so that we have something to grip hold of. Yeah, if you've not got a jacket, you can use. So, we're going to do two hold downs. These two hold downs were Nolan's choice today. We've been writing lesson plans as part of his homeschooling. So line your back there, Nolan, please. Mm. So we're going to do Munigatami, which we all should know, and Kesagatami. Again, two very common hold downs. And we're going to do a combination of Munigatami into Kesagatami. So Munigatami, your partner is going to lie flat on their back. Because they're going to lie on their back and help you out to start off with. In a real judo match, nobody's going to lie on their back for you. They're going to be trying to attack you and trying to get scores against you. So for now, for practicing... Tori, the person doing the technique, and Uki, the person lying down, letting you do the technique. They're going to be lying flat on their back to help you. So, hand closest to the head. Your arm is going to go underneath their head, as far through as you can. Hand closest to feet goes underneath the shoulder at the far side. So not the arm closest to you, we just move that out of the way and leave that there. Hands go together, so if you put your hands together, turn and grip that's your your judo grip that's how you're going to hold your hands together and chest on your partner's chest so underneath the head underneath the shoulder grip your hands together chest to chest legs out straight behind you i'm stuck up in the air here but ideally you want your feet here your toes on the on the floor and your knees down your hips down to the floor as well okay so we'll show you again Maybe I should. Okay. You'll get a go as well, don't worry. So we'll both get to go. So, arm closest to you, move it out of the way. Hand closest to the head goes underneath your partner's head. Hand closest to the feet goes underneath the shoulder. Connect your hands together, chest to chest. If you can, if you've got the space, legs out straight behind your feet apart, on your toes, pushing your weight down into your partner's chest. Now, in this position, I'm going to shout Hajime. I want the person underneath to try and stand up. Person on top, you're going to try and keep them pinned on their back, okay? No fingers in eyes or up noses, no cheating. Try and grab hold of their jacket or their dressing gown, throw them off you. Is it in the book for everyone? Yeah, okay, so when I shout Hajime Nolan, you've got to try and escape, okay. all right? Can you do this? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've eaten way too many pizzas for you to be able to get out, but we'll see. So. Here we go. Are you ready, guys? Into the position. Munigatami, chest hold. And Hajime. Wriggle. Nine. Eight. Seven. Come on, Nolan. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Mate. Good effort, guys. That should have been hard work for you. So swap over now. Let the other person have a go. 
So I'm going to be Uki, and I'm going to lie on my back for Nolan. And Nolan, let's see if you can talk them through how to do Moonigatami. Remember, super loud so they can hear. Put the arm closest to the head. The head. And then the arm closest to the legs on the other side. Okay, so when you've got your hands together, your hips down, feet apart on your toes. So killing your toes underneath you, pushing your weight down on your partner. When I shout Hajime, we've got 10 seconds to get out. Are you ready? Hajime! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and escape! A bit, bit of cheating going on there. Bit of cheating. Yeah. Okay. You so once we've had a go at Moonigatami, we're going to have a go at Kesigatami. This is a scarf hold. This is probably one of the more common hold downs because you get your opponent round their head, round their neck, and it's common for to go into this position from a throw. So your partner's going to lie flat on their back this way. Hand closest to you, move to one side. Sit on your bottom with your back to your partner as close to them as you can. Hand closest to head goes underneath their head to make a pillow. Hand closest to feet, this one here, is going to grab hold of the sleeve and you're going to pull that sleeve around your tummy, a little bit like a seatbelt goes around you. Then you want to put your weight just at the bottom of their ribs. So if you feel where their ribs are, just at the bottom there, that's where you put the weight. If you're too high or too low, it just makes it easier for them to escape. So let's not make it easy for them. Let's get our weight down and let's squeeze them and see if we can make them change colour. Now, your legs in this position here, can you see how one foot is forwards? This is to stop my opponent from turning in towards me. I can push him back. This one, you've got a choice. I like to put my foot down flat here so that if Nolan did roll towards me, I can use that leg to push him onto his back, but I don't want to push too far because otherwise he could take me right over the top. So I need to make sure that I'm pushing my weight down, okay? Then, if you want to, you can do the running position. So that's bending your knees here, but just remember they could possibly trap your leg and if in judo, if they trap your leg, that is also an escape. That means they've got out. So if they trap the leg with yours, that's taketa which means hold broken and they've escaped. Yeah, so keep that leg out of the way. Noisy. Keep hold of this sleeve. What you don't want to do is let go of the sleeve and let them use this arm to push you up. <coughs> no, okay, trap the see. arm underneath your armpit. Like, yeah, yeah, like a chicken wing. Oh. Okay, um. are we all in Kasagatami position? Pulling that sleeve, head down, hold strong. We're going to give them 10 seconds to escape. Hajime, 10, 9, come on Nolan, wriggle, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mate. I didn't sleep. Okay, now let's switch over now so your partner has a go. So Nolan, you sit on your bottom there. So I'm going to lie down on my back. Nolan's going to talk you through it. So I'm closest to head. goes under the head. I'm closest to the legs with the sleeve. And you pull it like a seat belt. And then legs into this position. Okay. Are we ready, guys? Head down, hold tight, and you want your weight at the bottom of their ribs, remember. Had you be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one, mate. Mate, sorry, mate. Okay. Okay, you didn't escape. So now, what we're going to do is Moonigatami into Kesagatami. So again, this is something that happens quite often because in a judo match, which very rare, we get a hold down and we stay in that position for the whole 
10 or 20 seconds or however long you need for the score to win. So Nolan is just uh, limp towing up. Are we ready? So we start off in Munigatami, lie flat on your back there Nolan, with your head at this side okay. and your feet at this side please. Start off in Munigatami chest hold. From this position you're going to pull this arm out that's under the head and switch your hips oh. so we're going into that running position. Okay. Then hand goes right underneath the head to secure the Kesigatami. I'll show you again. Ow, my throat. You can't, for some reason, you're squishing my throat, not my wrist. I'm squishing you. Okay. So, Munigatami, here into this position. This arm goes out from under the head, grab hold of the sleeve. Now, it's important to keep your weight on top of your part. Now, I was lifting up then just to show you. This hand, you can leave it underneath the shoulder. That's fine if you feel strong. Oh, just turns it into Kazur Kesegatami, which means broken scaffold. If not, you want it to be a bit stronger, you can pull the arm out and slide it underneath the head Ow. as long as you're keeping the pressure on this arm all the time. Because if you let go, they're going to use that to escape. Okay? Like push the hand away. So, the exercise I would like you to do. Munigatami. Uki, the person being held down, lets you get Kesagatami. Then once you get Kesagatami, then you try and escape. Okay? So, Nolan, you don't try and escape until I'm in Kesagatami. Okay? So, we start off in Munigatami. Get your partner, put Munigatami chest hold on your partner. Then... Change it into Kesagatami, so switch your hips around. So you turn your hips. Remember I put this foot flat on the floor, that's fine. This leg as you're running. Pull that sleeve around your tummy. If you want to leave the arm under the shoulder, leave this hand under the shoulder. If not, slide it under the head. Are we all in Kesagatami now? That's even more. And 10 seconds to escape. Hajime, 10, 9, 8, 7, turn Nolan, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Mate, well done. Okay, squished underneath him. Now we're going to swap over and let your partner have a go. So we'll start off in Munigatami and we'll switch it round into Kesagatami. So Nolan, come and kneel at this side so they can see. Remember, let your partner do the chest hold first, Nolan. Chest hold facing me. Chest hold first. So. On your knees. Okay, let your partner do Munigatami and let them get Kesagatami. So Munigatami is the first one. We're going to switch it into Kesagatami. So he turns under the head, grab the sleeve, pull it round the waist, legs let you run in, get into that strong position, head down. Okay, if we all switched into Kesagatami, and Hajime, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Mate. Okay, kneel up and face your partner, and Ray. Now, if you want to pause the video now, now would be a good idea to practice some Niwaza Randori, if you feel that that's a good idea, if you, you feel safe enough to do that. So remember the rules for Niwaza Randori. No standing, stay on your knees, try and score as many points as you can by pinning your opponent down for 10 seconds. No tears as well, brothers and sisters competing against each other. Be fair. Look after each other. If you're a lot bigger than them, give them a chance. Let them do the hold downs as well. So if you want to pause the video now and do maybe two or three rounds of Niwaza Randori, trying to grip, trying to score points, that's absolutely fine. Okay? We're going to move into our Tachiwaza now. Okay? So we're going to go back to the Osotogari and the Taitoshi. Wait. So, Mate, so get yourself a quick drink. Which I've already had.